The National Minimum Wage Commission will publish its annual report and recommendations concerning possible adjustments to the national wage to the Minister of Employment and Labor later this year. And the DA is not so happy about this whole thing, and that's what we're going to be discussing on this video. Dumela Kazi, welcome back to the cafe. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, Sabi, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. Please do make sure you don't leave without subscribing. Please do make sure you comment down below with your own views and like this video. Um, if you enjoyed it. Without wasting any more time, let's get into this video. The current minimum wage is a 27 rands, um, 50 cents or 80 cents, something like that, but it's 27, it's just over 27 rands and per hour and right now the DA doesn't want this amount to be increased because they believe that it will hinder the companies from employing more people. We're just going to run, run through the DA's, um, the DA's letter or the DA statement regarding this national um, minimum wage that if it is um, if everything goes well at the end of this year, that means from next year, we will have a new minimum wage. A minimum wage is very important, especially in a country whereby companies take advantage of the people that they are that they work for or the people that are employed by certain companies they take advantage they underpay them or they um, mistreat them on top of it and that is the reason why a lot of companies are using illegal immigrants because they know that illegal immigrants are not going to go and report their mistreatment as well as underpaying. So this is a very important issue, but is it important for the government to increase the minimum wage? Is it is, is the DA um, legitimately thinking about people that will get jobs if the companies are able to, um, to, to, to generate a good income for them to employ more workers? Is are they are they actually fighting for the people or they are just fighting for their own pockets? Because obviously some of these DA people do have companies, they do pay people, and um, are they are they fighting for everybody who is actually out there seeking for jobs? Or they're just looking after their own pockets. That's what we need to discuss on the comment sections because they um, they did release very valid points in a very very um, in a very good country. I think this would work, but in South Africa, I'm not sure. But anyway, this is what the DA said. The, Demo the Democratic Alliance DA, in short, has submitted comments to the National Minimum Wage Committee opposing any proposed increase increases to the South Africa's minimum wage NMW that is in short of the, it's the short of national minimum wage. In response to the Department of Employment and Labor's Gazette invitation for writing representation. While the DA recognized the good intentions behind raising the minimum wage, the DA believes it will serve only to worsen the country's already extremely high unemployment rate. Instead, the DA suggests keeping the current minimum wage unchanged. South Africa's minimum wage market is constrained by multiple factors, especially the impact of the minimum wage on employment opportunities. The current minimum wage creates barriers for, uh, for the unemployed, particularly young people and low-skilled workers. By setting a wave threshold that business may not be able to afford. Many companies are unable to hire new employees unless their productivity exceeds the mandated minimum wage. As a result, the most vulnerable segment of the population 
are locked out of the job market, perpetuating a cycle of poverty and dependency on the social grant. As you all know that there is that social grant that you're getting, um, which is the, 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 the disaster management distress social grant, whatever that 350 rands that was um, that was introduced during a COVID lockdowns. That is the one and 350 is absolutely nothing when you compare it with the inflation in South Africa, compare it with anything, it is absolutely nothing. And um, I mean, everything is so expensive. If you are one five kg of sugar, that 350 is all gone. Transportation as well. So we need to understand a lot of factors that um, that are around within that 350 before we move forward to the actual proposal that the DA is making, which is not to increase the minimum wage. As I said, this could work in a good country. I don't know about South Africa. But anyway, let us continue with what we were reading. The National Minimum Wage Commission's approach to link future incre increases to inflation and other economic indicators does not adequately consider the country's severe unemployment crisis. Although protecting the, per the purchasing power of the existing workers is important, the, un the unintended consequences of further increase will be reduced the will be will be to reduce the willingness of employers to hire. The DA believes that minimum mini, maintaining the current minimum wage level strikes a necessary balance between the protecting existing workers and opening doors to employment for those who are currently excluded from the workforce. While the NMW may reduce in in inequality rather among those already employed it exhibits inequality between the employed and the unemployed those without jobs remain trapped in poverty unable to gain skills build work work experience or earn rather any income at all even a modest wage would significantly improve the livelihood of those currently relying on the social relief of distress grant allowing the f them to build towards better opportunities over time the DA's policy position is to freeze the minimum wage at its current level. Orderly, we propose labor reforms that will expand job opportunities, particularly for youth, such as Youth Employment Opportunity Certificate and amending existing collective um, bargaining structures to benefit small businesses. These measures aim to create a more flexible, inclusive labor market to address South Africa's unemployment crisis ahead. The DA believes that halting further increase to the minimum wage is a necessary step to make South Africa's labor market more accessible to um, more accessible, reduce unemployment, unemployment and restore dignity through work. What do you think about this whole thing that um, about this whole letter that the DA is um, actually summarized for us and um, I just read it to, to you right now. What do you think about it? Do you think it, it will be fair for people who are working right now to stay with the same salary or do you think it's just another catastrophe that is waiting to happen? Because obviously um, inflation, everything is expensive and also um, demographically, black people will suffer the most. Um, firstly, a lot of black people are living far from these companies. They are living far from um, any productivity areas, such as people are living in Kailija and they have to um, to go and work in town, for example, in Cape Town. That is a long way to travel and that needs money. That needs you to have transport. And transport is so expensive because the transport system in South Africa is just working against 
anyone who is using the transport system. So as said at the beginning of this video, this would work in a different country, but I'm not sure in South Africa. Yes, minimum wage can stay there if the transport system in South Africa was very affordable to the people who are getting that 4,000 rands a month because 4,000 rands a month is like my grocery. It's, it's, it's absolutely a, 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 it's nothing. It's nothing really. Um, and um, that is for other people that is half of their actual transport. So you're spending a lot of money transporting yourself to town because obviously you cannot afford to stay in town. That is another story. The story of property in close to these areas that people are working in. I'm not saying that um, this is um, only for people um, driving to Cape Town or only for people commuting to Cape Town um, as a town from Kailicha from any other place. Yes, you can have um, or you can work in places like Shoprite in your in your area, but you cannot expect Shoprite to to employ everybody in that area. So there will be a possible a possibility that. That people will have to work far and if they are working in areas like Cape Town areas like Santon um, it's it's quite steep the, the the amount of rent there is quite steep and also property is inaccessible it's unaffordable for people who are earning these minimum wages it's good that you will get this 4,000 rands to build up your profile, to build up your CV, but it's not sustainable in a long run. Because obviously, if there are no job opportunities in South Africa, because we don't have a lot of job opportunities in South Africa, if there are no job opportunities in South Africa, you have to stay with what? That 4,000 rands. And yes, I do understand when they're saying that people should go and work instead of them receiving 300 50, which is absolutely nothing 350 is nothing i think when you buy 350 rands worth of electricity units you get like 50 units or so or something like that so it is absolutely nothing it's it's a shocker that people are actually living um, uh, their lives using that 350 but for me I, I i feel like that is nothing and i understand when they are saying that this will open if they keep that um, actual minimum wage to where it is right now, it will open doors for the ones who are getting paid 350 a month, which is understandable. But it is frustrating that now I'm going to have to um, work long hours or work whatever and get 4,000 and something. And within that 4,000 and something, I have to pay this and I have to pay that. And especially very important stuff, food, transportation, um, clothing to actually uh, be presentable at work. And you are left with what? 350 still as your change, as something that you can say, okay, I've got something, I've got money for the month. And with the food that is so expensive, you need a lot of money. You need money for you to get that food. But um, also another thing that we need to understand is um, with the people that are getting paid or the companies that are paying illegal immigrants lower incomes, um, how do the foreigners do it back at home? Like, for example, someone who's um, staying or who is from Zimbabwe and does receive like 2,000 rands as a salary, how do they, ma how do they manage to actually um, be able to maintain their lifestyle and life and they, they've got food and also be able to send money home? How do they able to do all that? Um, we also need to check our own lifestyle as South, lifestyles as South Africans, um, which is something that is, I, I digress now, so it's something that is beyond what we were talking about here. I'm just, this topic is a very broad topic and it's a topic that can take forever for us to figure out and to actually think about the things that DA said them. If you are black and you're watching this video, just for a second, just um, dim the part whereby you say DA is for white people and all of those things. They 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 are not looking um, forward or they are not they are not um, they don't have best interest of black people and stuff like that. That racist thing, that um, black and white racist thing. Just put it away and think about what the pointers of the DA and um, share with us. What do you think? How 
how will this work? Will this work, in fact, this DA proposal, or is just going to be another disaster? Or will the government um, increasing the actual uh, minimum wage work um, or it will cause another disaster because obviously if the companies cannot produce more, the companies cannot um, employ people um, within them um, inside the, 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 the actual company um, companies. But I feel like companies should also be able to pay people over time and all of those things in order for the company to be able to produce double the amount that they produce because I think there are people who would be willing to work overtime just make sure that you give them what they deserve not what you think they deserve right but anyway thank you so much for watching till this far please do make sure you comment down below with your own views do you agree with the da you don't agree with the da and why do you have your own pointers i love i i, I would like to have economic economic um e economics um students learned people over here or um graduates if you 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 love economics and you all of those things please do share your own opinions about this whole thing um because it is very important it plays a big role in our society even if you've got your own job you are an architect or whatever you've got a huge salary in your family or your relatives they are people who are struggling to get jobs or there are people who are getting a minimum wage um, in, in, in your family. So you do indirectly um, affected by this whole thing. So anyway, have a fantastic one. I'll see you on my next upload. Peace out.